this week, we're going to take a look at the other side of the leadership because the responsibility for the infiltration is not just on the pulpits um, and the leadership of the churches. While that is where the primary responsibility it really is, um, the problem is in the pew as well. And, and, and <laughs> we live we live in a unique time. I remember. I remember watching the Berlin Wall fall on TV. I remember watching the first Gulf War happen on the nightly news. I remember Afghanistan unfold with media embedded in the troops. We are now watching a war unfold before our very eyes on social media live. We live in a very unique time where we can see what's going on half a world away instantly. When Michael Jackson died in 2009, he broke the internet. Word of his death spread faster than any, anyone's death had ever spread before. It was a matter of minutes between when he died and the entire world found out. We live in, 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 a, in a we live in a unique time where where technology and, and, and social media dominate our very existence. It, it is it is why Sherry and I enjoy cruising so much because we can literally put our phone down and not touch it for a week. I'm unplugged from the world. I do not dare get the internet package. I get the package that enables us to communicate with our family on the ship through our phone. It's a text messaging app, and that's all we have. That's all you have access to. You have access to a text message to find out where everybody's at. That's it. And there's no technology, and it is beautiful. But we also live in a time where because of this technology, not only can we see world events happening live crazy, it is hard to tell what's true and what's not true. Some of the videos that are being posted up as live videos are not live videos, they're video games. I caught one, and I was like, wait a minute, that's, that's not, act that looks like a video game. Sure enough, it was. It was, I forget, DSC or whatever. It's, it's DCS. There you go. I had the two initials. Very, very graphically real. But at times you can tell it's, it's like, wait a minute, that's not real. Um, people trying to make money off of this is what they're doing. It's easier for us to pull up a, a short video for a devotion that's three or four minutes, and it is to actually pull up the Word of God and read a passage out of it. We can, we can for, and for a while, I did the same thing. It's like I was making videos, just short three, four-minute videos to, to help fulfill that um, because that's what the demand is because it's easier to pull up a short video than it is to actually, to actually pick up the Word for ourselves and, and, and read it. Because this is what culture does. We're going to be in 2 Timothy this morning 4. We're going to be in 2 Timothy 4, verses 3 to 5. Um, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires and will turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths. But you, be sober in all things, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. 
This is one of those epistles that Darcy alluded to earlier. Um, she was talking about a different book, but 2 Timothy is Paul's last letter to his disciple Timothy while he's in prison, knowing full well what's coming ahead. He's going to die. He's going to be killed. It is coming. And Paul knows it. That very next verse states it. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. He's not talking about getting out of jail. <laughs> He's talking about being released from this corporeo. Yeah, that's easy. That's an easy. The flesh. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. It's not coming out, so we're going to choose a different one. He's talking about being released from the flesh. This prison, <laughs> fleshly prison, if you will. People, there's going to come a time that people will not endure sound doctrine. Because as a matter of fact, we're there now. People won't stand for sound doctrine. They are not willing to hear it. They shut it out. They shut it off. They lash out against it. If what you believe doesn't agree with what I believe then you don't exist. Attention spans also play into this because attention spans are shorter than ever thanks to social media. You have literally two to three seconds before people move on. If you do not grab their attention in the first two to three seconds, you lost them. I have watched my kids and my wife, myself, I've watched them flip through TikTok and Facebook Reels. And literally, it's, it, is, it is a three to four second max span before they flip the video if they don't like it. That is part of the problem. You see, we were given two ears and one mouth. I think we need to listen more than we speak. And when we listen, we need, to, we need to be willing to make the time to listen. I hear all the time, I just, I just don't hear from God. It's probably, I'm not going to guarantee this is always the case, but it's probably because you're not making the time to listen you got to make the time to listen before you can hear them. Which is why a lot of people claim that they wake up in the middle of the night. Because God can't get a word in edgewise. 